Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Big Sister Challenge episode 24. Last week's episode today is actually New Year's Eve so it is the last day of the first year that the girls have been living alone living alone on their own yeah that's what I was gonna say and um, last episode was kind of interesting Avery had a sleepover she was invited to a sleepover and she was getting closer with Annie and she also told Zaylee that um oh that uh she likes her that she thinks Zaylee is really really cool and then Darian came over because we kind of wanted to check up on him and um there was some flirting going on with these two and I don't really know what's going on with that like I don't know like what Darian is thinking who does Lola actually like you can tell she's like still struggling with what is happening like I'm with Daniel but Darian like is still being so sweet and like I don't know what I want so we're gonna see in today's episode but it is New Year's which I am very excited for so this is um I'm pretty sure this is a holiday that's already in the game I don't think I put this in I'm like 99% sure so we gotta decorate we have the party spirit um tradition today which means we are gonna attend a party later on Lola has been invited to a party I'm excited for that we have to make resolutions which I've never done before so we're gonna see which ones are available and then when it gets to 11 p.m we can watch the countdown to midnight on tv which I think is super cool so we probably won't be with the twins anymore because I'm gonna take Lola over to a party with a bunch of teens we're gonna be doing some drinking and playing some games and um getting crazy for new year's eve so we'll see what happens but that's the plan for today it's really early now like all the girls got up super early because they went to bed kind of early as well and their needs are doing so good i'm not even sure what to do during the day today i want to do something fun like i want these three to do something kind of quickly together maybe they could go for oh maybe they could go to like a spa or something i'm gonna have her take um bear for a little walk Let's go for a short walk um because Barry really looks like he needs to go outside yeah maybe they could go to a spa like a little treat for the last day of the year and i want them to all make their resolutions together i don't think we can really decorate that much we can rummage for winter decorations let's see in build mode because i know i can at least change a bunch of these to like the new year's ones like that one super new year's i feel like we should get rid of this now same with this, we'll change those to New Year's cards and these ones as well. Oh, those ones are really pretty. I think maybe we should get rid of the tree now. I think it's time. So I'm going to be putting this in the inventory so we can use it again next year. I don't really see anything else that I'm interested in. Oh my god, I forgot to take out the CC. <laughs> I downloaded some CC for a build. Apparently, I have forgotten to take it out. I think we're good, but what I did want to get for um, Avery, I was talking about it the other day in the episode. I said I wanted to buy this thing, the Junior Wizard Starter Set, because um, I feel like she needs to start doing this for just her future career and also for the whole scouting thing she needs to do this and this wasn't that expensive does it only come in one color yes it does well now we have the new science table and she can start getting all sciencey but i'm just gonna buy like one thing so that we can get this um tradition completed let's get rid of these um snowflakes and i'm gonna buy something like this for the window that's like kind of new year's -y, right and it's only 25 simoleons so hopefully oh that's a winning one hopefully this will complete the tradition for us um yes it did there we go perfect so here we go avery's taking bear for a walk because bear needs some attention too look how sad he's looking oh my god cheer up little one and then i do want to head out and do something fun together as sisters as family 
One of the bad things about that is that um, Lola is going through a phase where she's wanting to be distant. She doesn't want to be near her family and it's New Year's and that's all I want them to do, which is really funny. But I've been having her practice her singing skill and her painting skill so we can make some more money. Um, these are currently her skills. She's got seven points in cooking, which is really good. She's got five in charisma, four in handiness, and where is this? Okay, so five in painting and four in singing. So I think she's doing pretty good. So let's see where we can take these sisters out to celebrate New Year's together. So I've got this crazy Roman spot put down. We're in Newcrest right now. Oh my God, look at all the snow. It's actually kind of crazy looking right now because it's not built for winter time, but spas are free access. You don't need to pay to get in. So I thought maybe we could come in here. Oh, look at this place. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we could get like a few things to do, but honestly, we don't need that many things because we don't have that much money, but we can like get like one massage. This room looks so hot oh my gosh okay that's the saunas that would be actually perfect for winter right so i've had all the girls come into the sauna together then they could go for a swim or something to freshen up but we've actually never been to the sauna before i rarely do this in the sims and it is really cool like sauna is a finnish invention so i'm finished myself so these are this is very very familiar to me but can we do our resolutions while we're in here because i think that'd be kind of cool so let's see um, where, make a resolution. Oh, there's so many things. Well, she's not going to become a better student. She could complete an aspiration milestone, but that's not really what we're looking for. Um, we don't need to get a significant other because they're already in a relationship. She could raise her skill. That could be a good thing. Or she could write a book or lose weight. Ooh, or get fit. Sim is already fit. Oh my God, Lola is so fit. How come like she's fit, but she still can lose weight? Like, is she not skinny enough? What are you telling me, game? Um, we're, I don't think we're gonna be writing a book anytime soon. So I think I'm gonna pick for her. I'm gonna pick this race a skill. I feel like that makes most sense for Lola. So I've never done this before. She's gonna tell the girls, this is my New Year's resolution. What do you guys think? Lola wants to work on a skill for her resolution. Start working on a skill to get this done. See progress on the resolution by opening up the Simology panel. Wait, Simology panel? Also, yeah, I know her responsibility is doing really, really crap. Oh my God, it goes in here? That's cool. But yeah, as you can see, she's going to the distant childhood phase. Well, let's do the same for the girls as well. I want them to make a resolution. So for children, you can become a better student, com complete an aspiration milestone, get promoted in scouts or raise a skill. I want to get promoted in scouts. Yes. Get promoted as a scout within a week to complete this resolution where we have to get on that because she's got like she only has three more batches to do and she's still a child hopefully we can get those done so i'm gonna be picking that for her and that's gonna be a re resolution for this year ah that's so cute and then lastly we have Haley. what are we gonna pick for her let's see make a resolution she could complete an aspiration milestone or she could also raise a scale we haven't focused on the aspirations at all so i feel like we could do this um become a better student i don't think she's an a student though so i don't know why she can't do this but we're gonna pick the comp complete an aspiration milestone for her and they're all just like chilling in the sauna together oh they look so relaxed and it's so cold outside so this is so nice like look at this it's uh it's freezing outside so what she needs to do is practice typing for four hours and that will be that done. I'm going to have her go swim laps along with um, Avery and then we're going to see if we could get Lola a massage. So we could do a foot massage or a hand massage or I prefer, yeah, ooh, <laughs> I was going to say I want to go um, get one of these massages for like, you know, like your back, but um, these are outside and it's cold as heck. Are they only outside? Well, we're not gonna do that. So let's get let's get a hand massage. I never get that. 
let's get it from Renee Strange. That is actually a sim made by one of you guys. I don't know about this outfit or his earrings, but I mean, he's like green earrings, but we're gonna get a hand massage. And look how happy she is as well from the sauna. And then the girls are out here swimming. This is cute. This is like such a nice little family day. Oh my gosh, look at our girl getting pampered. She's being treated like a queen. She looks so happy. I like this. Like, she looks so content right now. I mean, this guy must be real good at hand massages. <laughs> oh, and there's a celebrity here who's trying to hype us up. Well, we don't really care. Um, You do you, girl. We're just enjoying our hand massage. She looks so happy. I can't deal. And the other hand. Perfect! She's gonna be ready for it tonight because soon we're gonna be heading over to this party. We're gonna see Daniel and Darian and um, do some drinking with our friends in the city. So, oh my god, that outfit. So, we'll see what happens. Also, by the way, Haley has reached motor level 10. <gasps> What? That's awesome! So that's it for the spa day. Now we are gonna be heading over to the New Year's Eve party. Okay, here we are at the Coles household. Is that what it's called? I forget, but this is their amazing modern mansion. And this is where we are having our New Year's Eve party. There are so many teens around, which I'm excited for. Angel is happy as well, as you can see. We have just given Daniel a hug and Darian is also celebrating. I think we should go inside. I definitely want us to start um, getting our party on. We should go hire a mixologist and probably turn on the speakers as well. I want to listen to some music. So let's put on some... Let's do pop. Let's just do it. And I wish the parents could go away, but this is their house. So I guess they're going to be here. But here's Brennan. He has a brother as well. Um, They're both teenagers. So they've invited us over for this New Year's Eve party. And there are so many of us. I am quite excited for this. I feel like these teens party a lot, but I guess that's just kind of how it is. How they all have fun. They just get together for parties. <laughs> I mean, that's what I used to do when I was like a teenager so there we go the music is on how did you guys get drinks already wait what where did all these drinks come from i want one but yeah this house is massive it's three floors it looks like this it is from the gallery oh my goodness lola completed her resolution already because she leveled up her dancing skill that's not what i was expecting but there we go um darian is still Sad. I really don't know what's up with him. So hopefully this party will cheer him up. We are all over here dancing. So that's good. We're getting the party started and hopefully our bartender will show up soon. I definitely don't want to be flirting with Darian in front of Daniel, but I feel like we need to just go check up on him and like see what's going on and like kind of like clear the air after what happened last time. So I'm going to be going over there and what should we do? Let's do a deep conversation, kind of see how he's doing. Oh my God, there are so many people here. This is awesome. Oh, and apparently I found the mixologist. She's over here. They had a little bar out here, which I had no idea. So we can come over here and get some drinks. But right now we are just checking up on Darian. Um, what is that dance move? Wait, what? I've never seen that one before. <laughs> You just like awkwardly turn around. Okay, I think what this party needs is some drinks. So let's get over here and let's um let's get how how can we do this? I want to get drinks for everybody. Order drinks for a group. There we go. Let's waste our money. We can get freezy fruity drinks. I mean that's the cheap thing. I'm not spending hundreds of simoleons on this. So let's get fizzy fruity drinks for the whole group. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so many teams! <laughs> I love this! Oh my god, this party is gonna get turned up. I feel like I want them to play Truth or Dare or Spin the Bottle. I mean, it is 7 p.m. already, so I think we're all gonna come up here together. We are going to clear some space over here, move the furniture around a little bit so we can all gather around in a circle and play some games.
that just happened. They all just played spin the bottle. You guys saw what happened. Um, they dared Darian to go streak outside. Lola was dared <laughs> to dye her hair. And um, we've done it. We've changed Lola's hair color. You guys know she used to have her pink hair. Um, and I thought it was time for a change and she got dared to do it. So we've gone for a purple this time. Tell me in the comments if you guys like it or if we should go back or if we should go for something else. And then that was the truth or dare. Then they kind of swapped over to spin the bottle. Um, you know, where you kind of have to kiss whoever the bottle bottle lands on and um Daniel got kissed by Joy here um he was kind of shocked about that and then of course Darian's bottle landed on Lola of course it freaking did and like literally Daniel was just like sitting right there but since it is yeah watch the countdown to midnight it's 21 minutes until midnight so i thought let's uh stop playing spin the bottle and let's watch the countdown to midnight i want all of us to watch this to watch this together watch current channel together let's do it look at it oh my goodness they're all dancing and there was fireworks is this the show the like new year's Eve show. I'm excited. This is cute. <laughs> Look at all of them. I wish the oh, I wish the Simus would like. Ah! <laughs> Yay! Kiss at midnight. But happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's. <gasps> That's so cute. What are you guys doing? Are you trying to tell Daniel it's all okay? I think Daniel is gonna pull Lola aside. Oh. They're kiss they're hugging, sorry, not kissing. Those two are siblings. And yep. I mean Daniel doesn't seem too annoyed, but definitely Daniel is like, Lola, I wanna talk to you for a little bit. Can we go to a different room for a second? All right, so Daniel is taking us to uh, this bedroom up here. Um, they've both been drinking quite a lot, and I think Daniel just wants to like kind of apologize that he just kissed someone else, and then he's trying to prove to Lola that he isn't bothered at all that Lola and Darian kissed. So he's like, I love that new hair color on you. You look so good tonight. I was so happy to spend New Year's Eve with you. That kiss meant nothing. You're the one I love. And um, I know that that kiss with Darian also meant absolutely nothing. I know you don't care about him at all. So they're kind of just sitting on the bed and talking. And Daniel, I think Daniel is feeling a little bit insecure. Obviously, he does not want Lola to know that. But he's feeling insecure about the whole Darian situation. Which is why he was saying to Lola that like, clearly that meant nothing between you two. Like, And then mm -hmm, he is going in for that kiss. And I think... I mean, this isn't even their house, but you know, this is a party they've been drinking. I think they are gonna mess around in this bed here, in this bedroom. I think they have privacy here. Yes, they do. Um, It's New Year's Eve. Lola also feels a little bit bad for kissing Darian because she kind of enjoyed it a little bit. So this is what they're gonna do. And New Year's Eve was successful. As you can see, Lola had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to do. That's where I'm gonna leave that episode. Honestly, this love triangle is like, I don't even know what's happening right now. And I hope Darian isn't gonna hear about this or see them up here, so. We'll see what happens in the next episodes, but let me know what you thought about this and I don't know what you think we should do next time. And let me know about Lola's hair color as well if we are digging the purple. But give the episode a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you are new here. Is he leaving us here? I don't know, but I will see you guys again next time. Bye!